Hey everyone, today we're going to learn about uh, linear regression. Linear regression is an algorithm that is really important and it is widely used in the field of data science. And you can apply linear regression in uh, engine test performances, weather data analysis, astronomy, and even stock data predictions. The, the best part is that it's really easy to understand and implement. So, let's get started. So today we're going to learn about linear regression. At the core, linear regression is basically a line. So a line has an equation of y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, x is the independent variable, y is a dependent variable, and b is our beginning point or y-intercept. I'm going to rewrite this equation uh, by replacing m with beta. And you'll see in a little bit why. But let's just consider a scenario where we have more than one independent variable, where we have multiple x values. That means we're going to have multiple m values because we have uh, m and x together. So we're going to have uh, m1, x1, and if we have another value of x, let's call it x2, we'll have m2, x2, and so on and so forth. So let's look at an example. So let's just say we have glucose level. Now, glucose level in someone's body may depend on their age, their height, their weight, their gender, their cholesterol, and maybe even more, right? So we can rewrite this into the form of beta and x. And if we rewrite this in an equation form, we will get y equals beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2, so on and so forth. Similar to our mx, but instead of m, we're just using beta and then multiple x's. So what if we have about a thousand x values? We're not going to write it like this, beta 1 uh, x1 plus beta 2 x2 till 1000. What we need to do is that we need to make it more concise. So let's write this in a matrix format. So we can replace uh, all that with our beta, beta being a matrix from beta 1 to beta n, and x being x1 to xn. Now, we can't really multiply these two matrices in this format, so we need to take the transpose of the beta matrix. If we do that, we end up with this. And now we can multiply these two uh, matrices together. And the result would be beta transpose times x. And that is our answer, y equals beta transpose x. But what does that mean? Well, our x is known, and we need to find b to being able to predict y. Let's look at this graphically. So we're going back to two dimensions. Let's just say we only have one x, we only have one, bar, one y, and we only have one beta. Okay, y equals mx plus b. So what we need to do is that we need to look at these points, or look at this data, and we need to learn from this data to being able to predict the line of best fit. If we can predict the line of best fit, then we can essentially predict the future y values without any given x value. And the final way or the correct way to write this equation would be this, where f of x depends on beta naught plus beta 1 xi. Now this is essentially the same thing as this equation, it's just that f of xi represents our predicted y value for the ith observation and beta naught and beta 1 represent the coefficients of the y-intercept and the slope in the regression line. So we're going to start off by getting some libraries for matrices and plotting. So this first function estimate coef or estimate coefficients takes x and y where I am trying to estimate the beta naught and beta 1 values. So if you solve for beta naught and beta 1, you can see that beta naught equals to y minus beta 1 times x and beta 1 equals to x, I'm sorry, y over x. The next function that I'm creating is for plotting the regression line and I'm going to create a scatter plot. Then these next values or the next plot is going to be the line, the line of best fit. Now I'm going to
label the X and Y So now I'm going to create data, data for our X matrix and data for our Y matrix. Now I'm going to call the estimate coefficient function. Then I'm going to print them. And last but not least, I'm going to call the regression method that plots them. And here you have it. These are the beta values. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more content.